G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. So we're back for part two of our Seahorse Heaven installation. And so as you saw in the last episode, we have the tank running with the water, the coral sand and the filter going. And we've had the tank running for a few weeks now. So today we're going to put the aquascape in and we're going to add the seahorses. So we'll start with the aquascape, we'll work on the filter, and then at the end, we'll put the seahorses in and show you how the whole thing looks. So here we go. So you've probably noticed that we've actually used artificial corals in this tank. Now this is a very rare thing for us to do. Normally the tanks that Gallery Aquatica sets up are living reef tanks with live corals and nothing fake in the tank. However, the reason why we've gone for artificial corals in this case is because it's going to be very low maintenance, they're going to be very easy to clean. Uh, it would just be a case of taking out the corals and putting them in bleach. It's going to be a low light tank, even though it has a, a really good light on it. We're going to run it quite low, try and minimise the algae, but most importantly, minimise the maintenance. But the other reason that we're using artificial corals is because seahorses really need somewhere to wrap their tail around to anchor to the rockwork. And the artificial corals that we've used are absolutely perfect for that. So one of the things that we have to do today is hook up the keto reactor. So we specifically didn't set this up last time that we're here because there wasn't any nutrient input in the way of livestock. So we're going to set up our keto reactor and we have a bag of keto that we're going to use. We're going to add this keto into the reactor and we're also going to adapt the chiller line that pumps from the sump to the chiller. It's going to then pump through the keto reactor. Now the keto reactor has a 12 mil uh, uh, hose tail, so it is going to reduce the flow through the chiller. However, um, it shouldn't reduce the flow too much, and I think that the flow rate that we'll have through the chiller and the keto reactor will probably be about perfect. So I'll just adapt the hose and get this set up. All right. So this is our chiller return line. I have a reducer from 19 mil to 16 mil, and now I'm going to reduce from the 16 mil to the 12 mil to suit the Kia reactor. goes on like so. Make sure this valve is in an easy to reach position. <clears throat> Spin that around there. Tighten that back up. So that will sit nicely beside the tank. Put the keto in it now before I forget. So the idea of course with a reactor like this is that 
as the keto grows, it absorbs nutrients out of the system and helps to keep the water quality perfect for the seahorses. So I'm just going to wrap it around just like that. Maybe a little too much there. Okay, so it's very important that this seal is not compromised. So being very careful to get rid of any keto or anything that could be over this rubber seal. Huh. Little amphipod. So he was actually sitting on the rubber seal. So if we left him on the seal, it wouldn't have sealed properly. But that's right like that. So I'm going to check, well I'm checking now, that that O-ring is perfectly in place and I can see very clearly that it's seated correctly and there's nothing which is going to compromise the seal. Obviously this is a reactor under pressure and it doesn't take much to stop uh, that seal from properly sealing causing a, a slow leak. So that's it. Now all I have to do is connect the return line into the sump and turn it back on. So our keto reactor is set up. It's just time to turn on the power. I'm feeding all of the cords around the back, trying to be as neat as possible. I've checked the keto reactor for leaks and there are no leaks. Now all we need to do is power it on. We've got our transformer plugged in and I've just fed the cable around the back. And this is the part, the exciting part, where we turn it on. So I'm just gonna plug this in here. There we go. We have flow through our keto reactor and it's lit up exactly as we want. So now we have a nutrient export system for this tank. So it probably won't grow a lot of keto in the next few weeks just because we've got such a low bio load. We're only starting off with four seahorses and uh, in the future we'll add some more but this is still a very young tank. We've really only given it a few weeks um, of cycling before we put uh, these seahorses in. So there's going to be a lot more in the future. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. All we need to do is add the seahorses now. So we've had the seahorses drip acclimating for the last 45 minutes. 
And now we can release them into the tank. I never let seahorses come out of the water. So I'm actually gonna just tip them straight in like so. Come on guys, you got a new paddock. Come on. There we go. So we'll see how long it takes them to find our artificial coral that we've put in there for them to wrap their tail around it. Uh, this one's, yeah, here we go, oh, I've missed it. What a shame. But this is exactly what we want to see. The flow is perfect. Uh, the lighting is going to be fairly minimal. Um, they're going to be wrapping their tails around or anchoring to the structure we've created. And it's a very basic but Beautiful little setup, I think. Okay, that's it for our seahorse heaven. Everything's looking good, the seahorses are looking great. We'll try giving them a feed and we'll give them a few hours to settle in and see how well they're, they're eating. These guys will only be fed on frozen brine and mysa shrimp. Um, but anyway, this is it for uh, Seahorse Heaven. We'll check back in on this tank in a few months, possibly when we put the next lot of seahorses in. So uh, stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV to see more updates with this tank. But thanks so much for watching and happy reefing. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, and keep on reefing.